Greetings YouTube and welcome to today's video where I have been inspired to do yet another Quake Defender video because Seton just came out today with a video saying that Void was going to be the first God tier science champion and honestly anytime I hear anyone say that it gets me so angry because we already have a God tier science champion her name is Quake and chances are, if you don't think Quake is a science tier champion, you don't know how to use Quake. Because once you do, not only is she amazing, but she's so fun to play. And unlike Void or any of these what I call Calculus 4 champions, where you have to do so much math perfectly in the right order in order to ramp them up, like, I don't know about you, but I play games to make my mind calm, not to feel like I'm taking the ACT. So... We're going to see Quake in action against Magic, and I just want you to notice a couple things about the fight. And this is how you really want to use Quake. And we're going up against Magic. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to start with the Heavy. Now notice, I parried, and then I Heavy attacked. I'm building those charges, and I haven't been hit yet. Parry, Heavy attack. Now we've got the Concussion, and almost half her health is gone. Limbo has also not been triggered. Parry, Heavy Attack. That's the first Limbo we have. And even though I got hit by the special, she's done. So, again, it's so easy. It's so fast. There's no spam the special one to get to the special two. There's no wait a minute. I don't understand why it's fun. This is kind of my argument for why I actually prefer to play with Star-Lord sometimes over Stark Spidey. Because even though Stark Spidey ultimately has more damage, you have to evade with those poise charges for like a minute to build them up to 10 and and to me that's just boring so quake is god tier and quake is someone that if you open you should use your science awakening gem on and you should take her up her pi is also insane she is still i think my fourth best uh champion yeah fourth best 6200 and when you look at her, especially when you pair her with Black Widow, she's incredible. She's got this amazing plus 15% ability accuracy, which also makes Black Widow's close to the 100% that it was on before the, the patch 12.0 nerf. So don't buy into this BS that there isn't a, a science uh, god tier champion yet. It's just not true. It's not true, and it needs to be something that you very much... Uh, consider when you open Quake. Century, crazy overhype. As I said in my other video, you think you get Superman and instead you get Clark Kent with a broken leg. Void's probably going to be better, but it's still going to take you at least a minute to really ramp up the damage, and even then, his base attack looks pretty suspect. So, I'm on Team Quake, and uh, this should not shock you. This is literally an earthquake of information in the community's vault of knowledge. So if you like Quake, if you agree with me, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm going to try to come out later today with my mastery video as well to tell you about how uh, I, I really do believe I have the best overall mastery set up for everything from Arena to Alliance Quest and Alliance War, and I'd love to help you set up your own mastery. Uh, but until then, have a wonderful weekend, and uh, go out, play Quake, and tell any hater, Seton included, that there's already a god-tier science champion, and her name is Quake.